Try to get my slides back up. Okay, we'll do that. Watch the whole system just crashes. Uh, okay. Well, the next thing we're gonna do is just kind of we're gonna talk about some observations that were made during these exercises. So hopefully we'll kind of go back and forth between here in person and online, talk about some of the things we encountered. Uh, the first thing is, I don't know if you noticed, maybe some of these tasks, you guys were working kind of individually at first and then came together as a team to, to work through the problem. Were there some areas that were a little bit more complicated than others? Did, did an individual have something that was easier to do than another individual? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, with the drawing, maybe there were some blank pieces. <laughs> Someone had all the keyboard uh, things to, to draw, so that was a little bit more complicated. Um, how about skill level? Did anyone feel like they did not have any art skills or knowledge of like um, how to draw perspective? Yeah. Online, did anyone was anyone lost with uh, military officer rank? I think all of them just happened to be commissioned for oh yeah MS four or sorry AS four cadet okay so. so so some cadets in there so they had some additional skills to know what an o2 is and what an o4 is uh, so observation there is sometimes people might have different skills than you sometimes we're better artists than others uh, sometimes when we're working as a team there's going to be better performers was that part of your decision making at all did anyone say hey i'll take the more complicated parts just kind of randomly divided those so okay it's an observation there uh in any of the groups please speak up did, did anyone feel there was a, a leader that evolved, uh, emerged from the, the team i thought our group was very cooperative okay with, without any uh main leader it was just a really good team okay. working together cool anybody um more or less calling hey let's do this let's try this Anybody? I like three or four people. Yeah, I would say those from individuals. Okay. How about online? Anybody take lead online? You guys can. Uh, you guys can talk. We can hear you. Maybe we can. <laughs> uh, I'd say, if anything, Isaac was the first person to speak up, and so that kind of led to a little bit of a leadership role. Okay. So I will say it's kind of a unique situation online, right? I've got three commissioned second lieutenants. So these are all barely experienced cadets, nice. now lieutenants who have made it through the program. And I got one MS, or sorry, you can call them MS fives, but Air Force 400 or 500 level cadets. These are all very experienced cadets. So actually the question I really wanted to pose to them, what if they had a brand new student within that group of folks? How would they bring them in within that, within that fairly competent cohesive group of leaders, how you incorporate somebody who has that. Because again, what you missed, you didn't see it here in person or in the in-person group, but what they all have is different pieces of information to solve a puzzle. Um, so here's here's the thing. If that one person did not speak up or didn't effectively you know, speak up and feel comfortable, how would they be able to solve the puzzle? Well, they wouldn't have. So getting that person comfortable with, you know, adding additional information or giving insights was real, would have been really important. But again, everyone in this group felt very comfortable. Is that the norm when we're dealing with groups? Okay. In our modern day work environment, with the level of turnover that we have in teams, groups, organizations, we are going through that storming, norming, forming cycle a million times. So. We're going to get to that I think, a little bit later um, as maybe Kai goes through slides. But, but it's really interesting to see when you've got a high functioning team that, co you know, even though they're not from the same school, it functions together really, really well. And then all of a sudden you switch over and you've got, you know, two or three brand new people and what would have happened there. So. Thanks. Yeah, that's good. One more uh, thing I did want to talk about on this was, was there any one task or maybe a piece of information that is more important than the other piece. The keyboard seemed more important. Okay. Once so, we figured out the keyboard, it, it was uh, a little bit easier. Okay, so there was a little bit maybe those those pieces that had a little bit more detail and more recognizable items that those were more important to the puzzle. You said no. What's I mean, your thought? It's it's all going to go together to make one cohesive thing. 
So they're all equally important. Okay. Even the blank pieces, you know where they go. It's like no information is still valuable. Okay. So yeah, definitely good observations here that in order to complete the puzzle or to complete the puzzle that on, online, you guys had to have all those clues. If one of those clues was missing, you, you would have had a little bit harder time. Now, without the blank pieces of paper, yeah, the puzzle would not be complete. But I think your point is valid too, that there are maybe a little bit more pieces that, hey, without this, this piece of paper, we didn't really know what this image was. So that one may be arguably a little bit more important uh, based on your perspective. A blank piece doesn't really give you information, but it's still needed to complete the puzzle. So same thing as you apply to teams, everybody's part is important and valuable to make the mission happen or make the project happen. You've got to have everybody's uh, work putting it into that, that team to complete the task you have. Yeah, maybe somebody's got a little bit more skill, a little bit more piece of the pie, a little bit more, maybe we say important piece of the project, but still we've all got to work together or the, the project isn't complete. Any conflict arise? Yeah, you guys are all. Do you know each other pretty well? Just met this week, right? We didn't know that at all. Yeah. They're from uh, five different schools. Yeah. Uh, and, and six, if you include uh, a branch campus. Okay. Yeah. Which I think we're going to get to with yeah. with Todd because it would actually be pretty surprising if there was conflict, right? Because we're all in that nice, like we just barely met each other stage. Of like being friendly and not, you know, personalities have not been sussed out. So yeah, if there was a lot of conflict, I would have been really surprised early on. But we're we probably weren't there yet. Exactly. Yeah, that, that brings us into um, we're going to talk about Cog's ladder. And through this, we're kind of doing a review of, of the phases of team building. And these concept concepts will help you understand the dynamics of, of team building, team growth. And we can't. It's, Teams are so dynamic. There's not one model that's going to perfectly capture what a team is all the time. So this is kind of the best model that we use in right? military science and, and studies to describe the growth of teams and how they progress and the behaviors that we see in those teams. You guys, it's kind of a weird uh, name, cogs ladder. You think of a cog like something that goes in together like a machine. Cog just happens to be a gentleman who developed its initials backwards. Um, but George uh, developed this. It's been adopted by military studies, like I said. Um, and this is a common framework that we use to observe teams. We, sh we show how these teams are moving from stage to stage. And we're going to use also some videos from the Avengers to help us uh, teach you guys these concepts as well. Has everybody seen that movie? That yes. No. <laughs> Uh, all right, next slide here. We'll show you Cog's ladder. So there's five stages. We're gonna go from the bottom to the top. Uh, the first stage that any team comes into is the polite stage, followed by why we're here, bid for power, constructive, and esprit is how, how I say that. So we'll go through each one of these stages. We'll, we'll show a little clip of that stage. We'll talk about the attributes that we see in that stage. And then, um, you know, that's, that's kind of what we're gonna do for the first part. We're just kind of gonna go through these stages, ask some questions and think about what you guys see. All right, so just like we were talking about, you guys are kind of on that first stage of a team. You're, you're a new team right now. Uh, we call that the polite stage. Like Andrew said, there shouldn't be really any conflict right now because you're all kind of getting to know each other. You're being polite. You're um, kind of sizing each other up, seeing, who, who I got in my team right now? All right. I know Zoom videos make, hopefully you guys can hear these. All right, so polite stage, what, what are some of the attributes that you guys saw on this stage of this team? Introduction. Introductions. A bit of small talk, okay. A little bit of background on each other. Okay, getting to know each other, yeah. They weren't hostile. Yeah. As, as, as the polite stage implies, yeah. Okay. Feel free online too, you can jump in. Um, yeah. You guys are you're, you're getting the, the stage of polite stage. 
the light, they're kind of sizing each other up. You know, the Hulk was like, is that, what, what have you heard about me? Uh, things like that are gonna happen. Uh, you're not gonna have any group identity at this point, just getting to know each other. Maybe, maybe you click with some people, maybe you don't. Um, you're, you're gonna start forming those clicks at this point. Um, but really that judgment is happening, evaluation of, am I gonna get along with this person? What's this person like? I don't wanna push and step on any toes right now. I'm just trying to feel out the situation. Somebody pointed out something to me about the flight stage few years back that I found really interesting. The flight stage tends to have a pretty big correlation with how invested in whatever that team is doing it's so what I mean by that is we're all in a conference right now or a workshop, right? Is anyone here not going to get promoted if you know you do something wrong or you know something doesn't go right in the workshop? No, right? This is a great learning environment. There is you're invested in being here, but in terms of your you know necessarily future success, you're not getting evaluated over this workshop, right? Is there gonna be a test at the end? No. Your ability to maintain that polite stage can go pretty long. Right when you're in an environment like that, when there's not necessarily a whole lot on the line, and you're not, you know, you're, you know, there isn't necessarily something that you're all trying to work towards to succeed in or fail in or to accomplish. Um, when you're in a situation where a lot is on the line, where you're doing, whether it's military, you're doing something with a very serious mission, or you're in a company and you're up against a deadline, it's very fascinating to see how quickly that polite stage might give way to some of the next stages for good, for better, or for worse. <laughs> so, nice. yes. I noticed that uh, Captain America immediately jumped into the wide here. Is that an indicator of him being leader? That's a good observation. I didn't even catch that. What was it again? Captain America jumped in. Do uh, you want me to? No, no, go ahead. Yeah, so Captain America jumping in, being very assertive about, hey, why are we here? What am I here for? What's the mission? Is that kind of a military trait for my military folks that are in here? Is that kind of almost a stereotype of, of you know, folks that have that, that little short haircut for sure? Um, well, and it's kind of interesting. I, with the polite stage, I was about to say, is Captain America ever not polite? Like, <laughs> it, 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 his, entire, his entire arc kind of goes, you know, the polite stage just kind of carries him all the way through. Yeah. But no, I, that's, that, I think that is. Um, and also doing. And that may not be the case, right? Because stereotypes are not always true. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that too. We'll, we'll get to that um, kind of moving from stage to stage. That's good. Good observation. So can you guys uh, think, are the groups pretty productive at this point? Yeah, no, they're not. Um, not at all. Productivity is kind of low. Uh, the goal really is just that, to get to know each other. That's, that's an important part of a team, and that is the goal of the stage. All right, the next one is the why we're here stage. Does anybody want to take a crack at what that might mean or entail? Yeah, go ahead. That probably just uh, entails like what the mission set is, the yeah. whole objective of what, you know, the company that you're working with or whatever you're doing. Yeah, what are the goals? What are the objectives? Why are we here? Exactly, thank you. Well, it's an old fashioned notion. All right, what'd you see in that clip? How would it, how would it apply to the why we're here stage? The small little motivational thing of like why we're here. It's a motivation there, yeah. The purpose, like just cut straight to the point of someone had a great idea and so and so is going to build on it. Okay. Let's, let's talk about it. Yeah, so Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson's character, is casting that vision. He's trying to get them to see, like, this is the purpose of why we're doing this. Um, you know, maybe if that's a company that's built, making a profit, maybe in this case it's saving the world. Uh, but, there, yeah, there could be some emotion tied to that of inspiring people to, hey, we've got this vision cast, and I want you guys to look forward to, to what we can become. Any other observations? Like a call of duty, okay. as, as well. Yeah. What was the comment again? It was a call of duty, okay. and that emotion was telling them okay. how they should. Yeah. So really, uh, in this stage, it is focused on this. This one does have a, a bit of emotion tied to it. But really, 
setting whatever objectives and goals that you need to for this, uh, this project. More, um, you know, you always see, you'll see kind of in the next clip as we go into the bid for power, that's when the clicks really start uh, button heads. But you'll, you'll start to see some, hey, why we're here? And I get along with these types of people and their thinking and, and where we're going. At this point, do you think the group is very productive? No. Yeah, not, not very, it's, it's pretty low, um, but there is still a sense of that goal of, we need to figure out who we are, um, what, what, are we, what are we supposed to be accomplishing here, and what's the purpose? If there's no purpose, there's, there's gonna be uh, not really an effective team. It's just a bunch of individuals kind of doing what they think is, is right. Now, um, just obviously one of the big challenges why we're here, um, is the fact that you can very quickly blast through this stage, right? Hey, this is what we're doing, this is how we're doing it. With some people getting it and some people not. And it can negatively impact all the other stages, especially if there are individuals who are falling behind and they don't quite understand why we're here. Um, we'll talk about this a little bit later probably, but again, in this ideal model, the entire team is going through this all at the same time. But I think one of the big things we'll discuss is especially with COGS, they, you're, you're gonna have people at all different levels of this. And it's very easy to skip past the why we're here sometimes with new team members, because, hey, I know what I'm doing. They all know what they're doing. Did somebody not tell Bob, Sarah, Jim what we're doing? And you find yourself that that person's out in the cold. Um, so it's really important that you take time with why we're here, especially with new teammates. Yeah. Great, great. Let's move right into the bid for power stage. We'll, we'll play this clip 